I'm Paul Psolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 16th question from the Linear Digital SAT, Test 1, Module 1, Reading and Writing. Question asks, which finding, if true, would most directly support the researcher's hypothesis? You can expect the hypothesis is going to be in the last sentence of the paragraph. To get some context, we are going to read the paragraph, and it reads, In the mountains of Brazil, Barbacenia tomentosa and Barbacenia macrantha, two plants on the Villosaceae family establish themselves on soilless, nutrient-poor patches of quartzite rock. Plant ecologist Anna Abrajeo and Patricia de Brito Costa use microscopic analysis to determine that the roots of B. tomentosa and B. macrantha, which grow directly into the quartzite, have clusters of fine hairs <clears throat> near the root tip Further analysis indicates that these hairs secrete both malic and citric acids. The researchers hypothesize that the plants depend... Ooh, here it is. The researchers hypothesize that the plants depend on dissolving underlying rock with these acids as the process not only creates channels for continued growth. So in other words... The plant, the root tips are going into the rock. They secrete these acids and then they make a channel. They make a tunnel basically where the root tips could go. So it creates the channels for the continued growth, but it also releases phosphates that provide the vital nutrients, phosphorus. So once it secretes those, it makes a little tunnel for itself, but it's also going to turn that rock into phosphorus which is, sounds like it's going to be nutrients, food for the plant. We need an answer choice that's going to match that hypothesis. Answer choice A, other species in the Velozosei family are found in terrains with more soil, but have root structures similar to those of B. tementosa and B. macrantha. No, because that has nothing to do with it secreting, there's no support for it secreting any acid, making a tunnel, getting nutrients from the resulting um, conversion of the rock. Answer choice B, though B. tomentosa and B. macrantha both secrete citric and malic acids. Each species produces the acids in different proportions. So the hypothesis has nothing to do with what, how much each of those plants secrete or like whether or not those portions are different. Answer choice C, the roots of B. tomentosa and B. macrantha carve new entry points into rocks even when cracks in the surface are readily available now that one might make you pause for thought so if there's a crack in the surface already available and the plant does not use it that might be because it needs to make its own tunnel so it could convert that rock into phosphorus which would be food for itself so answer choice c actually looks good Answer is D. B. tomentosa and B. macrantha thrive even when transferred to surfaces of rocks that do not contain phosphates. Well, it says that it needs a nutrient phosphate, so that actually takes away from what it's saying a bit. Answer choice C is going to be your correct answer here. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with reading comprehension questions. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSA tier, SA tier, ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.